Hello, I'm Frank Caruso, producer of Oregon Life, and welcome to this brand new episode. This is a special treat for everyone. We're going to meet the man who started this all, and I call it a patchwork of love. Coming up next on Oregon Life. As of, as of right this minute, I just counted 338 I'll be back customers like waiting for covers to get here. I, know, I wish the covers were here right now. So we came, well, I'm Emily. I'm Eric. We came, we were at the hotel across the street and we saw this big lineup of toys and we wanted to see what was, what was happening. Yep, and uh, walked on over, saw all the toys and found out about the new Culver's that's being built here. Which is exciting yep. because I'm all about the flavor of the day. I like the uh, chocolate malts, the nice creamy malts, even though probably shouldn't eat too many, but. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Butter burger, cheese, scoopy tokens, kids meals, cheese curds. Yeah, we like it all. <laughs> Wisconsin classic. Hey, my name is Mark, and this is Kay and Hazel, and we're here waiting for Culvers to come. We're excited. Um, the town needs the Culvers, and uh, everybody loves Culvers. They're terrific with their yogurt and their burgers and the quality of the food's wonderful. We, uh, we're excited, we live within walking distance here, so we're excited to have Culver's come. And uh, when we started to see this little display, uh, the first time I saw it, there were three or four cars and the little house. And now look at it, it's unbelievable. Okay? Lots of love in this community, that's for sure. And Hazel always gets the broccoli, too, when we come to Culver's. We're glad we have that because we're trying to be really healthy. So we like that they have good, healthy choices at Culver's. Are we happy, Hazel? Can you say happy? Can you wave? Bye, Hazel. Can you blow a kiss? Bye. Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Love you. Um, I really like Culver's. They have such amazing food and especially their custard and everything. It's just awesome. And especially for me, um, I was recently di diagnosed with celiac disease and the fact that they offer gluten-free options means a whole lot to me because Culver's is such a great place and that I can still have everything means so much. The cheese curds are probably my favorite yes. thing at Culver's. We love but, the cheese And this curds. is just super cool. Like what a yeah. creative idea. And it's what drew our attention over here. Yes. We came in town to see Hamilton and saw this and yep, yeah. decided to stop. <laughs> oh, thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Everything about Culver's. Cheese curds are my favorite, probably. Um, and I want to thank the gentleman that put that little Culver's up. Um, I think that after everything we've been through the last few years, <clears throat> that um, for this to happen was a great thing. It brought the community together and, you know, shows a positive side, no matter what's, what your politics are or anything else like that, what you feel about anything, this brought the community together in a positive way. And I think that's important. I think it's very important. Just, <laughs> Thank you. It seems so natural. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dana Tarian. I set up this Culver's model here a while ago. Uh, there's a story behind it. Back early spring, my wife told me that they were gonna build a Culver's on this spot. The construction was supposed to start in uh, April. April came and went, nothing happened. May came and went, nothing happened. June came and I got, I put a sign out here, a simple sign that said, where's my Culver's? And I know a bunch of other people laughed at that and thought the same thing. Where's my Culver's? So I got into a conversation with my wife about this and we kind of joked about the idea that maybe we'd paint up a cardboard box and set it out here in the lot to kind of gently poke at people. Hey, let's get construction started, okay? Because we're waiting, you know? Uh, we realized that 
when a rain came, it would get the cardboard box all wet and it would collapse and all the fun would be gone. So I built a wooden model off to the side here and set it out, put a few cars out there. And since then, it's just grown. I mean, you can see what's going on back here. The excitement just keeps building. We're from northern Wisconsin and traveling through the area. We noticed your lineup of toys the other day and we were intrigued. And since we were here the first day, it's grown a lot more. I think it's really great to have something really exciting going on here in Oregon, other than what's going on in the world right now. This is uplifting, really. It's really interesting. And I think it's great. It's bringing the community together, both adults and children. The children are just loving it. And uh, it was so great to see a police car here last week. So, and, it, and, and there's everything here. It's not just cars, but we have Barbie here, and we have now a tricycle, and I see a rocking horse and we just added a 1928 Ford. So it's a great community event and it just really goes to show how much we all are looking forward to having Culver's here in Oregon, Wisconsin. I, I sure hope that they make a, a mural or something. They should put a mural on the building if they can, uh, if there's any place that they could, showing how much we're, the community is looking forward to, to having them here. My name is Corey and these are my boys. Keegan and Evan. Can you say hi? Hi. I've been going to Culver's since I was younger than these guys, wherever we had a, whenever we had a special occasion, we always went to Culver's. Um, the first time my girlfriend, now wife, met my parents, we met at Culver's for lunch. And uh, it's just, it's been a, a highlight for us. My phrase with Culver's or motto has always been, I've never had a bad experience at Culver's. And their food is great, their people are great. Um, and we are over the moon excited to have something less than a quarter mile away from our house. And this has been kind of a highlight here to, to come and, and see all the fun and all the uh, excitement that everyone else has uh, for Culver's as well. And I really want their ice cream right now. I didn't expect the response that we got out of this. You see all kinds of people coming here all the time, dropping stuff off and having a great time. I, I talked to a young family with kids that said they drove 45 minutes to get here. And the kids are running up and down the line here and playing with the cars and having a great time. Think back to when you and I were kids and maybe mom and dad said, let's go to the drive-in and get some ice cream. And you were, you were going, yeah, all right. And maybe you're silly happy in the back of the car all the way there to get it. I know I was. And then when you finally got there, you got what you wanted and it was great, you know? This is what Culver's is to people. Uh, it's the memories, it's the excitement, it's the great food. It starts with the great food, right? We're talking about Culver's. So that's where we are with that. And it just keeps on building. Hi, my name is Tony Ann. And this is Josephine. We are very excited. I look forward to the mushroom Swiss burger. Yeah, I'm looking forward for the all kind of foods you have here because we're employee here, sleep in hotel and we right across and we're gonna have our lunch here. So I saw this on Facebook and I was like, is that, is it, is it a joke? Is there really going to be a Culver's in Oregon? We missed our turn to go back home, ended up over here. I'm like, we've got to stop. My little story is I, I used to work in Sauk City as a guidance counselor at a elementary school. And it was across the street from the first Culver's. And, um, and I, I knew Craig's little girls and talked to them a lot, but uh, we, we, we used to go across the street and have our lunch. And um, I had long conversations with Culver, with Craig about different things, but one day he called me and he said, Marilyn, I want to talk to you. Can you come over? And I said, okay, I'll come on, I'll come on my lunch hour. So we came downstairs to the basement of Culver's and he said, I have a deal for you. I'm thinking of starting franchising Culver's and I would be delighted if you would want to get into the program and have a franchise. Well, at that time, the money that it took wasn't exactly in my environment. So I, um, I said, no. When I went back to it, we just can't afford it. I could kick myself 15 times around the block, but that was then and this is now. And I still go to Culver's. I always look at the flavor of the day, which is caramel cashew. Hi, Craig, this is Marilyn. <laughs> All right, I love Culver's because of their cheeseburger and their, because of their ice cream. And I got this little tiny lightning car for them. All right. 
Hi, we made these special for the Culver's. We're just dropping them off to be part of this cool event. So I saw it on the Facebook page, the Oregon Facebook page about the little drive through that they created and people putting cars. And I thought, hey Gus, we have some spare cars. Maybe we should put one down because we also love Culver's, right? So that's why we came down and put our car out. And um, you know, this is our cool muscle car that's now dirty, but that's okay. That's what they, that's what they do. So, and we're excited and can't wait for the real Culver's to open. So I like George's chili. That's my favorite. I like to have George's chili and cheese curds. What is, what's your favorite at Culver's? Probably their chicken tenders. Yeah, those are good. Hi, my name is Thomas from Edgerton, Wisconsin. Thought I'd stop out and check this cool display out. Really neat. I encourage everybody to come out and check it out. So I think that the cars here at the, at the Little Culver's is, is truly inspiring. That people are coming from all over uh, to put that, to show enthusiasm for this new business. Uh, so I recently moved here from the state of Oregon and we tried Culver's last week, was the first time I ever tried Culver's. So when I first heard about this going in, it's like, oh, come on, they can't be that good. Uh, well, we've been there like three times since then. So I am, it's, I understand the hype and I, I think that it's great that they're coming to the area and that people are showing their support. It's a truly, uh, unexpectedly a community building experience. Hi, Joan Anderson. I think this is a great event. It brings the community together. The kids have a lot of fun and enjoying it. We want to welcome Culver's to the community. We can't wait. I brought my big ladder fire truck to add to the fun. Thank you and enjoy. Come and see it. Okay, um, this is so neat. It's just my sister in Portland, Oregon follows it on Facebook. And just people all around the country have really, and it's so neat that Oregon, Wisconsin is, does something like this for a great place to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, say something. Um, I like Culver's because I like their butter burgers. <laughs> um, I really like their cheese curds. <laughs> They're really good. Mmm. I really like their cheese curds, and I'm glad there's uh, Culver's, and uh, it's pretty cool that the cars are going to like orphanages and stuff. That's good. I appreciate the, the community response that Culver's has gotten, and the national <coughs> rankings in communities. Um, really appreciate it. and. Really glad to live here and really glad Culver's is coming. I agree. I think it's a great showing for our community and I just love their cheeseburgers. <laughs> uh, I also agree. It's uh, very cool that they're coming here. It makes more of an opportunity when you're going for food. Right now. Perfect. Appreciate it. Bye. I wish it was built today. Okay, something I'd like to do uh, is mention to Craig Culver, he's got an appreciation and a respect for the fact that the food that we get produced at Culver's comes from the farmers, it starts there. And I have seen blue barns, uh, other places that I've traveled, that have big emblazoned across them, thank you farmers. I would like to put that on this one. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna add that to this one. I'm Denise, I'm Dana's wife. Um, this has just been so uplifting. It's phenomenal the um, community support that has come through you know we stop by we live close by so we stop by frequently and there's always someone out here everyone in the community is just having so much fun and you know the kids are getting into it the adults are getting into it and um, you know it's just it's been a blast looking at this long line of long line of vehicles i don't even know what to call it as a matter of fact but this is uh this is unprecedented this is something like this never happened before and uh, i just hope when we finally do open and that should be early next year um, that we do do as good a job as as you guys have done in uh, in you know wishing us success uh, to come here to Oregon. Uh, 
we are very excited about it. And uh, like I said, I hope we take care of your community like you have taken care of us. So thank you. Thanks for watching, watching Oregon, Oregon Life. Life.